Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, we've got another beer review from Bearded Iris tonight. Uh, just picked this one up today. Um, I actually didn't see them uh, release this one, but um, the can art caught me at the beer store, and uh, it was actually canned on uh, August 20th, so uh, pretty fresh stuff. This is going to be, um, again, Bearded Iris. This is People Power 2020. Uh, I guess this has to do something with uh, uh, some of the political things going on, I would say. I'm not for sure on that, but, uh, uh, you know. This is an 8% double IPA. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, it says equal rights on here. Uh, it says Citra, Strata, and equal rights. Uh, I'm not really going to get into any of that stuff. I'm just going to keep it about the beer. So, uh yeah, but the can art's really cool. It's got a really crazy looking design on it. Um, kind of hoping this one is good. Um, I've been longing for a good uh, Bearded Iris IPA that I have not had. Um, so let's hope for this one. Uh, let's get high hopes for this one. Looks nice coming out. And we're using our Bearded Iris glass comes in a nice light uh, straw color about a finger's worth of uh, white compact at the bottom and then a uh, rocky up top head let's go ahead and uh, shove our nose in this one I can already smell it from here oh yeah this is uh, this brings me back to some early bearded iris time uh, Man, that is just uh, just explosive out of the glass. First thing I notice is just a big, like, dankness in there. I don't know if that's the Strata uh, or what. I, I don't know if they used any other hop varieties in this or what. Maybe it's just Citra and Strata, but it's got a big, like, it almost reminds me of Mosaic in a weird way. It's kind of putting off a little bit of that, like, catty, uh, like, cat pee aroma, which I actually enjoy in my uh, IPAs. It's kind of reminding me of a Simcoe thing or something, even. Aside from that, uh, it's, it's big citrus, you know, big orange, some grapefruit in there. Uh, it's big on the tropical fruit side as well. It gets some, some nice uh, pineapple coming through. Some mango. I'm getting even like a little bit of a berry thing. It's got some like hop green character in there. A little bit light bready malt. This thing smells fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Let's do this. Cheers. Oh man, yeah. Yeah. I was hoping for big things in this one, and, and it delivered. Um, yeah, man, it, that like dankness thing is just very, very vibrant. Um, it's almost like like citrusy fruit mixed with like weed and like sweaty gym socks or something. Like <laughs> I say that in the uh, most desirable way possible if you can do that uh, I know those things do not sound like they would go good together just take my word for it on this one it, it, it works okay super soft mouthfeel I got a little bit of like a, a, a bitterness on the back end uh, but as far as the hop flavor, it, it's very citrusy. It's it's more so, I feel like I'm picking up on like um, juicy pineapple, even some big peach character. Uh, but that, like, whatever that dankness thing is that I'm talking about coming through, it, it's just riding throughout the whole palate. I mean, it's from front to back. I'm still getting that, you know, it's lingering there. It's on the back of my tongue. Uh, this is a fantastic one right here. I, I am very happy I picked this one up. Uh, they only had it in singles, 
Otherwise, I would probably go back and pick up a four pack of this because uh, it's that good. Yeah, the mouth feels crazy. Super silky, pillowy. Very light, doughy malt. And then the hops just to take over. Um, I, that, I can't stress enough how it's just that catty, cat pee dankness type thing. It, it just, it's very big in this beer. I don't remember a beer that, that, that flavor is that, um, but that it stands out that much. I mean, this one is just from front to back, uh, and then you've got your uh, random mixture of your tropical and citrus fruit throughout as well. So uh, this is kind of the, the cattiness of this is kind of the backbone almost of this malt, like not the malt, but like it's the backbone of what I'm tasting and then everything else is complementing that. So yeah, very, very good stuff. I'm super, super pumped about this one. I'm um, excited I picked it up and I definitely recommend you guys get it if you can. Again, this is uh, People Power 2020. Uh, this is an 8% double IPA. Uh, as far as the... Um, oh, never mind. I already went over the date. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, you know, as far as the alcohol content, it doesn't drink like 8%. It, it just feels like you're drinking a nice uh, six and a half, seven percenter. So uh, this one could be dangerous if you have several of them. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, uh, this is a fantastic beer. Go, go get it. No, try to get it if you can, uh, and let me know what you think about it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. But until then, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.